complain about kids spending too much time glued to the TV or playing those video games or stuck to the iPad. Instead, do something to change it. Brandon Doman, former BYU quarterback and coach, has a real passion for sports, and he believes physical activity is an essential tool parents need to teach their kids at home. So good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Do you think parents are doing enough to instill this love of sports and of physical activity in their kids? Well, I'm 37 years old and I have five kids and I'm busy. We're not home very much, especially yeah. us fathers, we're not around. And so our kids get glued to the iPad, like you said, the iPhone and the Wii and the Xbox, and they're, they're constantly asking me if they can get to the next game. And it worries me. It worries that our kids aren't getting out and playing basketball out on the driveway and they're not playing catch. I don't see dads and kids out running around kicking cans through the road as much as, as, much as we did when I was a little kid. Well, and you mentioned the dad and the father and son connection. There's obviously some physical benefits here that every family could benefit from, but there's an emotional connection here that you also fear might be lacking. Well, like I said, dads are extremely busy, and it seems like in this world, in this day and age, we're, we're more and more busy. We're competing in our businesses every day, and we're just not around, and so we're, we're kind of outsourcing our dad responsibilities to expert trainers. We're outsourcing it to our moms and our wives, and they're running our kids around, and unfortunately, we're not present, so we're, we're, a, we're a society of a bunch of absent fathers. Not all of us, but a bunch of us are absent. And, and a lot of the reasoning, I think, chalks up to time and busyness, like you talked about. Some dads might not know how to engage like that. If they didn't have a father who was out throwing a ball with them in the driveway or, you know, on the lawn, they might not know how to really form that bond. And that's where you're kind of coming in with some suggestions and some tools. Mm -hmm. Re really, really well done. Yeah, home sports was designed to empower dads and homes with the necessary tools to utilize sport to leave a legacy. And we don't have farms, most of us, so we don't get to raise our kid up in the morning, rise him up and go milk the cows and do the work that maybe you get to do in Tremont and, <laughs> and Brigham City. But You're going back to my roots there, Yeah, Brandon. we we don't get to do that. And so to be able to sweat and spend time with your kids and play ball with them, and mm -hmm. in this case, exercise and work out with them, you, you get to get down on their level and be with them and do things with them that they truly love to do. Well, I think even some Little League coaches could benefit from listening in on this conversation and peeking in on the videos you have posted. You're going to take us through some father-son workouts. It starts with a good warm-up, right? Right. So it's been kind of fun for me because I've been doing it with my son, and I get up in the morning and do this kind of this dynamic stretch, and I haven't stretched for, <laughs> for maybe 10 years. <laughs> There's so a confession. I, I'm getting my body all sorts of muscle confusion, and so to get up and stretch and to warm up and get your body going and in a real athletic way, mm -hmm. Dave Strohshine, who we've been working with in, in his strength and conditioning programs, has a really good warm-up process that we go through with the fathers and sons in this workout. That sets you off on the right foot, the right tone. Next, you recommend speed ladders for a fun workout that boys will really get into. So my two-year-old runs through the ladders in the morning. Really? Well, we get up. We get up at about 6.30 in the morning, and we go down and we exercise, and sometimes we do it one at a time. But these speed ladders, the kids love to do it. It increases their athletic, athletic ability, their agility especially, and, and their speed. And, and like you said, they're, they're really fun. Jumps and bounds next on your list. Yeah, our, our muscles and our quads and, and our glutes and those, those parts of our body enhance the explosion in athleticism. And so the jumps and the bounds, for little kids, they don't get to do strength workouts. They don't get to do squats and presses. And so so to teach them how to jump and to bound and, and, and invigorate those muscles is something that uh, we think is a very important part of this workout. Little kids have a lot of energy, you know that. Yep. So I imagine the speed portion of this workout is a lot of fun for them. Yeah, and then the speed and reaction. There's a bunch of different drills, but to teach them how to run appro appropriately. And, and then there's tennis balls that we drop and other things that teach them how to react quickly. Uh, and we're training them from a young age. This is this is something that a two-year-old could do, but it's primarily for eight to 16-year-old kids, and we've seen great improvements for these kids. This next this next suggestion is something I think it would be really fun for dads and sons, fathers and sons to do together, and that's to turn this workout, this bonding time, into a little bit of a competition. Yeah, so my son and I will get up, and there's part of these exercises where we're doing push-ups, and we have to clap, and we have to bear crawl, and, we, <laughs> and we'll, we'll have leaderboards and scorecards, and, and fathers and sons will get to compete throughout the home sports community, and, and it makes it, it's it's hard to work out alone, so to have a team, to have your father and your son there or your brother there makes the workout better. And again, these are workouts you're doing together, you're doing as a team, you're doing as a father-son duo. Well, and the idea was to, to bring home the very best of sports into your house so that you could do it together in your living room, in your basement, somewhere where you could find a, really a 10 foot by 10 foot space and do the workout together. You've made it easy, you're inspiring people to do that. We saw some clips from the videos, tell us where we can see more.
So go to homesports.com. On our homepage there, you'll see the Home Sports Game Plan. That's the name of this product. And you'll join as a member of Home Sports. Then you can purchase the product. For a limited time right now, the kit that's required, it's about a $120 kit. We're giving it away for free. Awesome. Brandon, thank you so much. Okay, Great inspiration you. and good to have you here. Appreciate that. When we come